Welcome everyone to Hardcore Carnivore Mate Challenge Day One. Yes, indeed, it's the official kickoff. We're gonna share our weight. We're gonna do some uh, talking about what, why we're doing it, and we are gonna be doing some meal prep. So come on, you guys, let's get started. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Today is our official kickoff of the Hardcore Carnivore Challenge for Harry and I. So recap, Wendy, we're both eating beef, all the meats, all the ruminant animals, pork, all the pork, eggs, and butter, tallow, ghee, um, bacon grease. What we are not eating is just as important. I have stopped using coffee, tea, any flavored mineral, natural or uh, sweetened mineral waters of any kind. I am just drinking water and sparkling water and bone broth that I make myself or if I can find one that's clean and just the bone broth and water and salt, then I will be drinking that. So you guys, how did we do first thing this morning? Harry had coffee with butter, no sweeteners, none, no sweeteners, no allulose, no stevia, nothing. We're drinking plain sparkling water or plain mineral water. As a matter of fact, we cleaned out our fridge. Yes, we did. Here's our fridge. And I made bone broth late last night. My uh, pressure cooker did some weird things. So I've drank some today. So I've got chicken, I've got bone broth. Yes, I do. We've got two things of eggs. We've got our mineral waters, sparkling waters. And what we are going to be prepping today. Oh my gosh, that's meat. Oh. What do you all got in there? Well, I've got chicken that I'm going to cook and hamburger that I'm going to cook. And I'm going to cook these steaks tomorrow. So they're going back in. If Harry feels like it, he will be cooking our bacon so that you can have these with your peels. And the reason why I say if Harry feels like it, you guys, it's actually in the afternoon for us, and you're going to hear Harry make some noises. His sciatica is acting up so bad. We had to call the doctor. The doctor has got him on muscle relaxers, and he has to go see the doctor first thing, 845 tomorrow morning now. I don't want to make you move. Come on, talk. Come on, baby. Oops. I'm here. Okay. Now, tell me what happened. What? Oh, well, uh, it's... What is it, the lower back? You know where the sciatic is. I'm sure a lot of you have had this. That, because uh, I did a lot of lifting, uh, a lot of road tripping. <laughs> road tripping. <laughs> we tripped down the road. You know, <laughs> that, uh, it's, it's really acting up really bad. Now, I have some arthritis down there, too. So the arthritis isn't helping any, you know. And shooting down Because I damaged a lot of things. Uh, my legs and stuff like that. You know, doing all this you know, life, life happens, right? Yes, it does. And um, so that's all swollen up. And I think that then I had, and I came home, I was fine pretty much. I felt kind of, felt kind of weird, you know, like I knew something was happening, but it would probably just clear up and go away because that's usually what happens. But I had the shellfish. You had the shrimp. I had that shrimp. For anniversary. And as soon as I had that shrimp, I'd say within three hours, things started changing. Yep. And uh, by the following day, I couldn't even get out of the chair. So I'm thinking that that's probably one of the, that's probably what really kicked it in. But it was going to come anyways, I think, because of all the stuff I did. But anyways. Are you going to be eating shellfish anytime no, soon? No, I don't think I'll be doing that anymore. Yeah, I don't think so yeah. either. So in fact, I might stay away from fish altogether for a while and see how it goes. Just do the carnivore? Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, you can have fish on okay. carnivore, you guys. It's just he is choosing not to. Yeah. So he is on, unfortunately, some heavy-duty meds. Vicodin, naproxen, and now you've got a muscle relaxer. Yeah, it's that, called, I don't know what it's called. Here, let me see. Oh, okay. Let me kind of get over here. Here. What's this see one See if they've called? ever heard of that before. Methyl carbamol. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a muscle relaxer. Generic equivalent for Robaxin. Yep. yep. So that's what he's got. We go, we have to be in the doctor's office at 845 tomorrow morning. And Harry, you guys, <laughs> between that and it is pollen season, the mesquite trees, the Palo Verde trees, and today we had wind. The wind is picking that pollen up and going everywhere with it. Now, I met Felicia early, picked her up. We went and had a pedicure. Yes, I did. I got some cute toes going on. Yeah, whoop, whoop. See my cute, pretty toes. Yeah. Whoop. Looking good. Looking, Looking good. good. Went and did that, and then I got home oh, and sweet, All right, go ahead. my head went crazy from the pollen. So I took a Benadryl. I got home, Harry was in bed, finally sleeping. We did not get a good night's sleep last night at all, either one of us, between our sinuses. We both have sinus issues. And Harry's sciatica, tossing and turning, and then him hurting every time he's moving. Ouch, 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 as you're rolling over. Ouch, 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 as you're rolling back. So it's not a good night. We both took a nap today. It's actually, I was going to say it's 400 degrees. <laughs> it's actually 400 <laughs> degrees time wise. It's 530. It's 536. I have had actually um, two cups or, or uh, uh, 16 ounces of my uh, bone broth. And I'm going to make us food right now. And then Harry started having black coffee with butter. How'd that go, Harry? Well, that's okay. I can drink coffee black. It's fine. Right. Uh, the, actually, the butter kind of changed the taste for me to where it didn't taste like coffee. It tasted right. like something different it now. It tastes better. So I didn't, yeah, no, it tasted, didn't taste as good to me. Really? Well, yeah. then don't drink butter in your coffee. You I, don't have to I mean, have well, butter I, in your I need coffee. To, I think I need to be eating more, though. Well, we haven't eaten anything today. Silly I know it's boy. five thirty. And <laughs> you're funny. Well, I I'm laughed. not doing a fasting carnivore diet. No, you're not. We're we're gonna eat, but um, I got my bone broth. It started spewing and sputtering on uh, pressure cooking last night. It scared us, so we had to turn it off, reset it, and I put it on low cook after that and let it cook through the night, and then. About 5.30 in the morning, Harry, yes, things, things in the other beeping. part of the house started beeping. First, it was the crock pot telling us that it was done. Then it was Harry's computer. Then it was his alarm clock on top of his computer. Yeah, then it was over on my side. It was the weirdest thing because we did not have a power out. I don't know what caused it. We might it. have had a surge. I think it had to have been it, something it, like that because be we something. had beeping and chirping everywhere. Because what we have, we have these two battery things that protect both computer systems. I have right. a great big one. She's got a small one. Right. Because she has a laptop. Well, I got turn that. around. So tell us about the computers because I didn't know. I just was well, mad because I finally got to sleep. They're battery backups. And in case the power goes out, the battery kicks in and keeps everything alive. So I don't have to come back in and read. Yours chirp first. Dude, yeah. First it was mine. Then it was my clock, then it was hers. But like within 15 minutes of, it was yeah, like it was weird. just so enough time to go to bed. That's why I think we might have a surge. Yeah. It's the only thing I can think of because we didn't have a power outage. No, we did not. Uh, but then again, I'm not an electrician, so. Are you hungry? Yes, God, am I hungry? Gosh. Uh, really? Gosh, with, are you with hungry? With all the pills I've been Ooh, taking? Yeah. Gosh, are you hungry? So am I. Anyway, you guys. That's what I said. Okay, just one. Wasn't it? No, it's being naughty. Gosh, I'm hungry. There. You guys, get after that Marty boy because he comes out I'm telling you. Ooh, the things he says sometimes. It's very naughty, very naughty. Okay, here's what we're doing. Taking these chicken thighs. I'm cooking them in the oven. I want to get their um, skin nice and crisp. So I'm going to start with that now. I've got my oven. Come on over here, Harry. Got the oven at 400 degrees. Do you want me to put it on parchment paper, or does it get too, um, is there too much fat? Yeah, Should it's I better do? to do it on parchment paper. Okay. It's easier to clean. Okay. I mean, look, we've had these things forever. Well, that one I've had forever. And then my ugly pan I've had even forever Well, that more. other one you've had since you were a kid. It was my mother's. She gave it to me to cook with when I moved out. Wendy doesn't give away anything that's no, I do not. got any kind of sentimental No, I do not. Or, if it works, why? Why get rid of it if it works? Right, you know, I'm pretty much the same way. I, I still have the same radio that my brother bought me 
if you know if it wouldn't have gotten smashed during what? the re reconstruction at our house in Beltmower. Oh, the one we listened to. Uh, I had it out in the garage to listen to. And Sunday goes, morning breakfast with the Beatles. Yeah. That'd and be then the other one was the dark side of the moon. Yep. Every uh, if I heard, if I heard Pink Floyd one more time, it's like and now or Tommy the complete opera. Oh yeah, that was good too. We want, we would listen to that as we were building our house addition back way back when. That was back in the eight. 80s. 80s. Yeah. yeah. You know we should show them pictures of me tearing off a roof. Yeah. I need to just tearing the shingles off the roof. I was straddling the, the gable peak, just taking off the shingles. I was in charge of the floor, right? Yeah. Yeah, we had fun. That was really fun. No, I enjoyed that. I, I, we I built a fun. huge addition on uh, the back of the house, huge. We had a 650 square foot, one bathroom, two bedroom, little uh, after the war house it was built in 1932 and when we moved it was just under 3,000 square feet we built a huge suite we built a formal dining room we built a living room a part of a kitchen formal dining room mm -hmm. suite bedroom with a sitting area it was beautiful huge walk-in closet another bathroom yep we were busy adding on and uh, i really enjoyed that that was really fun Picture Wendy with the hammer. Yes, indeed. You were a little bit bigger then, too. You know well, that? yeah, I was. Yes, I was. So was I. Yes, we were. I even had, uh, I should have, um, I wish we could find the video where the whole wall fell on me. You know, I think about that now and the size that I was. And I used to climb poles for a living, you know, basically. Well, for telephone company. Yeah, yeah. for the telephone company, right? You were cable, you were repair. Yeah, so, you know. Splicer. I didn't, I didn't go into houses. I worked on the cable system. So I was always up and down on these poles, putting new cable up or doing something. And thinking about that now and the size and how big, I was pretty big. I was 200 some pounds. Oh, well, how's this going to fit on here? You know, here? for, and I was, I'm only, what, 5'8". So that was. Are you only five eight? Not now. I'm probably five. I don't I'm know. I'm probably five four now. I don't know. <laughs> We're shrinking. I'm shrinking. I don't know what we are anymore. I know I am just under five nine now. I got a quarter of an inch taken off. My one side of my leg was taller than the other when I had my hip surgery. So I'm about five eight and three quarter ish. Yeah. Um, let me get. Can you hand me some paper towels? Because I have to dab this. Oh off. sure, no problem. I'm sorry. How many dear. would you like? Two. Two of the little ones. Yeah, just grab that. That's good. Because I want them to be nice and crispy. Got to dab the water off the skin to make them crisp. Because we're only putting Redmond's Real Salt on this and not even seasoned salt. Now, what I want to do is wash my hands. Let me wash my hands. Oops. I want to make sure the hickory salt, no artificial flavorings, colors, or additives. Okay. I want to make sure because I think that the chef's blend, let me read this chef's blend. It has espresso and a little bit of cocoa. So I'm not using chef's blend. I'm only using oh, cherry and hickory. My so fave. I'm going to put cherry smoked salt on this. It's my favorite too. Tell me if you need to stop, Harry, because I'm worried about your back. Let me get this in, and then I'm just going to cook our bacon. Mm. And um, we're going to have bacon, I mean, not bacon, I'm going to cook a hamburger. And we can have a hamburger bowl with oh, yeah, eggs while we're that. waiting Do for we the know? chicken. Yes, while we're waiting for the fabulous. chicken. So, I move out of the I way. i got to have my hamburger, man. No good without my burger bowl. Well, that's what I thought I'd cook, because that's a burger bowl. And I have enough money from the week that I can buy another two pounds of bacon. You know, you got to explain what you're doing. 
Because I think some people didn't get, grab on to what it is you're trying to do here. With what? The chicken? Well, like a couple of them said, why did you clear off? Why didn't you use the meat that was on the thing? Oh, uh, okay. You need you're to right. explain all of this. I'm trying to do carnivore on a budget. And yes, I could use all the food I have and take that out. But I want to show you at today's prices, shopping today in the, well, it was yesterday, in the grocery store, how much it would cost me to do the carnivore diet. A lot of people say carnivore is too expensive. I don't know what your budget is, but we budgeted for $50 each, 50 for Harry, 50 for me, total of $100 per week. Per week for the month of May to see if we can do it and get nice, good meat. Get some chicken, get some pork, get some beef, and some butter. Now, I have so much butter in here. These are $9.99 at Costco. Yeah. So I am using those. So if you take off $10 off of my thing, I only <sighs> spent $82. So $92 is what I spent for the month. And um, if I use more, I will let, let people know because I'm not gonna use this whole, con well, I don't think I'm gonna use one of these in a week. Well, two pounds, two that's pounds. What, that's what we're trying to figure out. That's we're gonna have to figure doing. that out, but I'm figuring that into the equation because that price, at least for now, is the same. Right. Now. I'm going to get my pan out and cook my... I stepped on it. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do we need to stop? No, just, let's just no. get the chicken in. I'm dying. The chicken is in the oven. Oh, oh And I'm going right. to be making See, hamburger. I don't even know what's going on, man. I'm going to be making hamburger. Yeah, I've got to have something to eat. I know you do. So, let's I've got... Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then after the chicken comes out, you'll be cooking our bacon for the week. Right. We've got three pounds of bacon for the I'm week. Gonna, should I cook the whole thing? Yes. Or we'll just keep it in a sack. Yeah. Right. You're going to have to, you have to eat something with, when you take your pills, mm. bacon would be perfect. Right. About like eight pieces at a time. Right? No, not eight pieces. All right, six. Save me a few, please. Here's my hamburger. There's a pan, about a pound. That's a two pound package. So I'm going to cook that right now for dinner. Well, we should eat at least a pound a piece, you know that. You can have whatever you want, dear. Two pounds I'm, a piece. Two pounds a piece. How about we have chicken with it? Oh, that's right. Okay, okay. I'll take a pound. Okay. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> yes, I. Harry's hungry. Oh my god. Gosh. Here. Oh my gosh. There Got I, my spatulator. What is, people are going to get after you, Harry. I know it. I can't. You, cannot, you guys just going to have to give me a break. You cannot take God's Pour name. Pour me a baby. bone. Okay. When I have hamburger. God understands. I talk to him all the time. And he gets mad at you quite <laughs> often. God says, Marty, I heard that. Well, sorry. Sorry, God. Sorry, yeah. God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because sorry. it's the truth. You need to stop it. Okay, I got my, my, all of my stuff up here because I did do my, um, <sighs> my XL pressure cooker has to all be washed and I have to unload the dishwasher to do that and get everything back in. Where's okay. The, where's the inner part? Where is it? It's on the head. It's right there. Oh, okay. okay. It's dirty. I know you have to take it I gotta, apart. I gotta take it apart. Yeah. yeah, I think something was. How's that thing over there? This is clean. Is it? Did I clean it? Yes, you did. Man, I'm good. Yes, you are. I'm Harry's good. I I cook. Harry cleans. Yes. That's the rule. That's the rule. I'm gonna leave this out because you're gonna be it's doing a sucking bacon. rule, but it's a rule. It is a rule. Okay, now Harry, can I? I think I'm gonna do a segment called Harry washes dishes, so that way Wendy. Has to be in here and film me when I'm washing dishes. I loaded the dishwasher. It's clean. Look. Yes. It's all clean. These are ready to go in. All these pieces and parts that I used. It's all clean. How many okay. eggs? Harry, how many eggs do you want with your beef? Oh, like two. 
You're gonna put it in a bowl, right? Yeah. Yeah, just two. Two eggs? Yeah, because I'm having a piece of chicken too, right? Yeah, you can have chicken too. And we finished eating our last three eggs last night late. Harry had to have eggs to well, eat his meat. So. Excuse me, I gotta put this in the dirty. I went and got my face done. I have been taking Benadryl for, since we got back from Texas for sinus medicine. Um, I got my face microneedled and Harry has been taking medicine since we got back from Texas. I went up to 189.8. Harry went up to 186. He was 181. I was 188 before we left for Texas. Right. So we are starting off the month of May up. Both of us are. And we are going to track this once a week and share with everybody. We did not, with everything that happened this morning at 5.30 a.m., we did not break out the scale and share with everybody. Well, it's not Friday. And it's not Friday. We we're did gonna a, do it on Friday. We're going to do that on Friday. So we have to weigh, Harry, you have to weigh in with what you are wearing when you weigh in the scale. Because I can't put that on tape. I know you can't. A la nude. I just think we just need to tell people what our weight is because, seriously, um, for you right now to have to drag everything out and put the green screen out, it's up to you if you want to on Friday. But well, well, let's see how I am. See how you do. I just want to make sure you're okay do with no what matter we're doing. What. Unless, look, if you don't see a video for me, it's because I couldn't get out of the bed or and something. And that's right. I like keeping my meat on a tray in the refrigerator so I don't get any blood or juices from the meat. Yeah, well, I still think you should put some paper underneath it. Yes. Tomorrow we're having steak. Steak, yes, indeed. I put all the other meat that I bought. I'm not trusting it uh, to be in the refrigerator for a whole week. As we use it, I'm going to unfreeze every day something. After my lamb was spoiled, talked to the manager. He was like, oh my gosh, no, I'll call the meat department manager, have him pull it, bring it in, give you back your money, etc., so forth and so on. He was very concerned. I said, it was not just turned, it was spoiled. Yeah. It and was that bad. was a vacuum packed container and that meat was spoiled. So he went back to talk to the meat manager. I wonder what that means. I don't know. It didn't, it didn't it seal correctly or it didn't, I don't know. All I know is, is it was bad, bad, bad. Bad to the bone. Yes, it was. So I'm kind of wondering if somebody's freezer truck uh, was bad. Was, was well, it's sad because that lamb, I've been waiting for that lamb. I've been, I've been uh, talking about getting lamb, looking forward to getting lamb, and then the lamb was spoiled. So it, it, it really put me off to having more lamb, unfortunately. These are for the eggs to cook in. What? This butter that I just put in. So you want two eggs? Yes, please. You want them on top of your hamburger in a bowl? Yes, please. Can you put the camera down and drain the hamburger, or are you just going to leave the hamburger no, I don't care what you want me to do. Um, let what me do get you my want me eggs. To do? Well, you usually drain it. I'm, I'm not a proponent of eating all that grease. Okay, well, I'll drain it. So if you could put the camera down, I'm going to put, let me put these in first and get them going. Okay. You have an eggs too? Of course I am. How many do you have? Two. Okay. I'm going to have two. This is my, Watch I, out. This is my Excuse favorite me. kind of egg right here. But I do like it like when you mix it in with hamburger. That was good. Baste those eggs. Okay, come back when we make our beef and egg bowl. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Hey, everybody. Our beef and egg bowls are done. They were yum deliumptious. We aren't cooking bacon. Harry's going to cook that tomorrow because we want to do it on a cold oven. We've got chicken in here. We may or may not have some, but you guys, why carnivore? Why hard carnivore for May? 
several reasons, <coughs> one of which, Sally, it's not time. She says, but mommy, you, we just ate. We just ate dinner. One of them is, I am resetting my body and my mind. I need to calm my system down. I need to calm the cortisol. I need to get my adrenal glands calmed down. I need to stop worrying about things. And one of the nice things about carnivore is, is I am not weighing, I am not measuring, I am not logging. I am free to go about my business by just eating intuitively, having some bone broth instead of coffee in the morning, having the, the carnivore food that I want and moving on to the next day. So it is so really no gonna, big board, right? No big board. Harry and I talked about it because basically we are eating such hardcore carnivore, it's not gonna be hard to track. We're having beef, ruminant meats, eggs, and pork, basically, with some butter, tallow, bacon grease, right? Yep. And pretty some salt on it. So it's pretty easy, pretty simple, and that's the nice thing about this. Hopefully, we can reset our bodies and push forward so that when we start adding things back, we are mindful of those foods. Then we probably will do a board and do a reintroduction of foods board as we go along to share. That's so that idea. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. I thought that was a good idea. Did you yeah. think that was a good idea? Yeah. She says, I just want to go, Mom, because I know you've got some good food for me, like a carnivore dog biscuit. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you guys, we're going to go ahead and close this out because Harry is really having a problem with his hip. He really needs to sit down. Yes, he does. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notified every time we upload a video. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up. That helps our channel grow. And if Sally wants to say goodnight. Yes, you do. Okay. Can you say, we'll see you? You want your carnivore dog, don't you? Yes, she does. Say, we'll see you tomorrow. And Mark, you say, go. Ah, she's spry today. Yes, she is. Anyway, you guys, she loves these. These are beef and liver sliders from Carnivore. This is Yes, indeed. But Harry has had them. It says human grade. Anyway, we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. I don't see that little, I don't see the little caramel colored chihuahua down at the feet. No, looking, she wants more. Looking up at me right now. I can't watch. Oh, I locked.